Hello guys, Sevai Live. So today we have our seasonals games for Kudai Tenchi. Um, he's a pretty decent player. You see, he's an OU player, but he's been beating some notable names, being like Voodoo and uh, Sabella. Though he did get lucky versus Sabella. So in terms of what I wanted to bring, I didn't really do like a big scouting on him. Um, I just kind of checked through his replays and see that he liked to use a lot of fairy. So I just brought a team that was not that was good versus fairy, and I wanted to use uh, Azumarill. Because now Azumarill gets Sap Sipper plus Whirlpool plus Parasong. So it can function as a trapper and grass immunity. So I threw it on the stall team and you know, let's get it. So in terms of the matchup, pretty good matchup for me. I have a Scarp Grand that kills everything after Cell Rock. So my goal is just to get up rocks, deal with Kirim, and click Ice Beam to win. So he's going to lead off with Chomp, going to lead off with my Swamper. Going to get my rocks up immediately because that is the win con. Um, so here I should have probably Toxic, but I didn't want to take any damage of my perk just yet, and my Lumola can take any hit. So go for the SD, I was expecting to be 3 attacks, but I guess not. So I'm going to go for a Scald here, trying to get a burn, as I do not burn. So I'm going to go into my Mantine and just sack it. I do not need Mantine, you can Stone Edge me and kill me. going to go into my Grand Fire up an Ice Beam knock him out. He's going to go into Kira. I'm going to go into my Tox Specs in case he was Icy him as he goes directly for the Fusion Ball. I guess there you would always Fusion Ball anyway. I just wanted to see what his Kira was. So I'm going to go into my Swamper now as he does go for the Earth Power. Good play on his part. I'm going to go for an Earthquake here. Trying to knock him out with Life Orb plus um, Life Orb plus Earthquake damage. As it's not enough damage, so here I, I'm going to go for the Toxic, but he does kill himself with the Recoil anyway. So in comes the Como. going to go directly into my Zoom Relic, so he cannot go for the Z. As he subs and reveals that he's Belly Drum. So I'm going to go for the Parasong, and then I'm going to Protect as he goes for Drain Punch. going to sack my Swamper here, as I do not need that thing anymore. And I can sack per. Bring in my Azu, go for the Protect, and knock him out. He goes into um, Dragonite here. I'm just going to knock off, and that's the whole game. Because all I needed to do was knock this item off, and I win with Scarf Grand's Ice Beam. So, going to beat him 1v1. Um, going to go into my Tox Specs in case he's Scarf or something, as he's not. And he goes for the Z, so that's GG. I can just Ice Beam everything. And that is the game. So, the team worked out fantastically. Um... And I literally had the stall team, but I didn't have a Grand. I think I had a Lantern over this, but I think Grand is way better just for all the Dragon spam. And so I don't lose the Noggin Adele, which sets up on my entire team. So, game two, decided to bring Normal because it kind of beats down all the water counter teams. And he's been using a lot of electric, so I was trying to get that matchup. As he brings this team, the matchup is absolutely horrible because this thing... Be beats me down. This thing beats me down, and I'm assuming this is Specs or Subclaw Mind, and this is Banded, and then this could be DD Taunt. So matchups looking horrible for me. So I'm gonna lead off with my Low Punny because it kind of takes on everything as lead, and I can just fake out and then return. Leads off with Oz. I'm gonna fake out for some chip damage. Gonna go into my Staraptor here on whatever he wants to do as he doubles down the Swamper. Very, very solid play. Going to U-turn here into my Chansey so I can get out my rocks as he goes for the Toxic. Got a good play, good play for sure. I guess he's trying to catch my P2 on switching. So I'm gonna get my rocks up here. He's gonna go for the Earthquake. I'm gonna get a Toxic so I can weaken this thing in range of either Quick Attack from Diggersby or Frustration from Low Pony. More along Frustration from Low Pony. So I'm going to switch out here into my Staraptor trying to dodge an Earthquake and to cast a Keldeo on switch in because I was pretty sure this Keldeo was subcom mine because it's Zap Seam as it reveals that he's Specs so I guess he changed the sets or something. So I'm going to go into my low punny here, going to go for the Frustration here and knock out anything that wants to come out. Kind of wish I uh, was Pup because I probably would have went for Pup there. So in comes the Gyarados. Gonna go directly into my P2. I, I wish I discharged here. I was recovering, predicting him to go for the Z. As he just goes hard Caldeo, I guess he expected a foul play or something. I probably wouldn't. I don't think I ever would have risked that. If I discharged there, I got free damage on Caldeo. Then I could have sacked my Chansey and then came in with and quick attack spam. So, gonna sack my Chansey. 
Bring in my low punny now. Everything's weakened. If Keldeo's in range of quick attack and return, I can knock out the Gyarados here with two frustrations. In comes Sharpedo. Gonna go into my ditto here to try and get off a little bit of chip damage so I can knock him out with quick attack as I cannot go for a fake out because he has protect and every Sharpedo carries Psychic Fangs. I mean, I saw in his set that he has Psychic Fangs. So, gonna kill him with the quick attack. He can bring in Greninja. I'm gonna quick attack again because I wanna put him in range of Stealth Rock as I do not get him in range, but he has one more switch in left. So I can go into my low punny here. Going to make the read predicting him to go into Azu because by going to Azu here on the fake out, um, Basically, his Azu would be able to Aqua Jet and then um, put me in range of Ice Beam or uh, Hydro Pump from Greninja. So, I didn't want to give him that opportunity. So, just going to Frustration here and knock out his Zoomerill. He's going to go back into his Grand. I'm just going to sack my P2 here as he goes to the Ice Beam. Going to fake him out and then I can return the Keldeo. And that's GG. So, GG's versus Kudai Tenchi. Had a pretty good run. But you know, I had to stop. I had to stop your streak. So uh, hopefully, we get some goats. Like the only people left in the turn. I'm like top 12 right now. People like Zuku Shiku, Paleo, uh, Paleo, and someone else at the verse still. But like a lot of good players left in the tournament. So I hope we get someone good next time. I mean, he was good, but like I don't know. I beat him, and he also choked this game. So I don't know. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.